I'm still getting used to driving inside a mansion. And driving. Are you guys okay? I'm good. The airbag broke my fall. Darcy, the wagon doesn't have an airbag. I meant Marie. <sighs> After that collision, I need to make an appointment with my chiropractor. And my attorney. <laughs> I just sworn my bedroom was around here somewhere. Let's ask her for directions. That's Irona, my maid. Wow, you are really hot. My electrostatic supercapacitor tends to overheat. <laughs> Guess I should have mentioned she's also a robot. I splurged on the supermodel model. <laughs> I've never uttered these words in my life, but money well spent. <laughs> This is Marie, my best friend and money manager. And this is Darcy, my other best friend. Don't let her see my bank password. We'll talk later. <laughs> Welcome to Richie's bedroom. Wow, this place is awesome! I can't believe you live here now. I can't believe you paid for all of this. <laughs> Check it out. It's got a dollar comforter. You mean down? No, I mean it's filled with dollars. <laughs> Master Richie's entire room is automated and can be controlled by a push of a button on his room remote. <laughs> or remote. Chuckle, chuckle, giggle. <laughs> is that an aquarium? Yep. Meet my new pet whales. Dollar, dollar, and bill, y'all! <laughs> All you need is a bubbling treasure chest. Over there. Is that real gold? And on a completely unrelated note, do you have a snorkel? <laughs> My name is Richie Rich, and I'm just a normal kid. Except that I have a trillion dollars. You see, I used all the vegetables I never ate to create a new energy source and sold it for a lot of money. Now I live in a huge mansion with my own amusement park, race car, and personal robot made. And I have my family and the best friends in the world to share my fortune with. My dad, my jealous sister Harper, my money manager Murray, and my money spender Darcy. I guess you could say, by not eating my vegetables, I became the richest and luckiest kid in the world. throwing money away. Did get this basketball for free. That's great. When I bought a professional basketball team. Ugh. I'm glad we still hang out, even though you're rich now. Of course, we're best friends. Now check this out. Air ball! <laughs> no more air balls for me. My engineers invented this never miss basketball hoop after seeing my jump shot. <laughs> That's cool. You should see the bathrooms. They were able to use the same technology on the toilets. <laughs> Master Richie, I just received a message from your father. Richie, please come into the living room. Hey, Rona, I know you have the voice modulation software, but please don't speak in my dad's voice. It totally ruins the magic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad? This isn't our old house. You don't have to sleep in the living room or shower in the neighbor's sprinklers. Richie, I'm a man who doesn't require luxuries like beds or indoor plumbing. I can be happy on a couch. I have to be, since I can't figure out how to get in my bedroom with that high-tech entry system. It's just a doorknob. And what's that crazy-looking eye scanner device? A peephole? Oh. Richie. <laughs> My room looks exactly like the Harvard Library. And while I might appreciate having a full-time librarian, I wish she wouldn't shush me every time I speak. Shh. I am not even in my room! Harper, I knew how hard you've been working to get in Harvard, so I thought if I made your dream come true, it'd make you happy. Don't seem happy. 
I want to get into the actual Harvard, not a replica my slacker brother built. <laughs> it's not a replica. I bought the actual library building and had it moved here. Well, most of it. The crane dropped one of the walls, so we had to replace it with plywood and spackle. <laughs> spackle. That's a funny word. <laughs> Dad, I can't handle living in this monument to Richie's pathetically lucky success. You should be happy for your brother. Not only did he make a gajillion dollars, but that doodad he invented did something good for the planet. Eliminated the need for carbon-based fuel. Yeah, that. All Richie did was catch lightning in a bottle. Literally, he just crammed a bunch of uneaten vegetables into a bottle that happened to get struck by lightning. Are you accusing me of not knowing what I was doing when I invented my trap electricity and vegetables thingamajig? <sighs> Dad, why did you want to see us? See you? I don't know. Oh, wait, yeah, uh, so I wanted to spend some quality time together. I feel really disconnected here. What if we had a family dinner? A family dinner? Why am I being punished? Guess what? I hacked into your bank account and had you buy you a vertical wind tunnel. BTW, your password was really weak, so I went ahead and changed it for you. Okay, what's the new one? For security reasons, I can't tell you. <laughs> Richie, we have a problem. It's your new jet. Don't tell me there are more engine issues. Apparently, a solid gold jet has trouble staying in the air. <laughs> Hashtag trillionaire problems. Jet or no jet, we can still skydive with this. Worse than you think. Right up above my room is a gorilla habitat. Of all the days to wear banana lip gloss. You're in good hands, Darcy. I downloaded an entire medical library on my Rona's hard drive. Now she's practically a doctor. Before I do anymore, I will need proof of insurance. Darcy. I feel bad that you blasted through the ceiling into my gorilla habitat and that my ceiling fan was on high. <laughs> I want to do something to make this up to you. I have just the thing, a coupon for a free lemonade at Corn Dog Larry. <laughs> How about I score us three passes to a concert of a lifetime? Like the one and only U.S. show of Swedish House Sensation. Swedish House Sensation! That's He's the best DJ in the world! Ow! It hurts to get excited. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. Coupon. Free lemonade. Free. <laughs> Murray told me you bought the concert tickets! And exactly how much they cost. I can't wait for tomorrow night! Me neither. Now I just have to find something to wear. Irona, to the mall! Richie, I feel like you, Harp, and I are drifting apart. So I'm reinstituting an old family tradition. Dad, Harp and I are too old to take baths together. Starting tomorrow, I'm bringing back family game night. S tomorrow? I can't. I have plans. Richie, when we moved here, we agreed. Your house, my rules. Cancel your plans. Please? I'd be willing to revisit the bath thing. Of all the nights to have a stupid family game night, my dad picks the one night I have concert tickets. Spending quality time with family is important for maintaining meaningful relationships. You may have a motherboard, but you don't have to act like my mother. Apologies, Master Richie. Pops be straight tripping, yo. Hey, Richie. Guess who just beat Murray in a game of whores? The girl who can't use her extremities! Well, I have some bad news about Swedish House Sensation. Oh, no. Don't tell me he's not going to perform about their meatballs! I love that song. The beat makes me move my feet like a wild man. <laughs> the problem is, we can't go to the concert. What? Why? 
Do you have plans with some new fancy rich friends? By the way, if they need a money manager, here's my card. <laughs> I knew once you became rich, you wouldn't want to hang out with us anymore. Those gorillas may have broken 84 of my bones, but you broke my heart. You didn't let me finish. I was saying we can't go to the concert because it's going to be here in my room. It is? That's the plan that I just came up with. <laughs> Mr. Richie, may I have a word? I do not understand. Are you canceling family game night? Nope, I'm going to both. I do not think that is a wise... <clears throat> Get your son <laughs> word. Hello, I am Swedish House Sensation. Swedish House Sensation. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, you fine piece of reinforced titanium alloy. <laughs> You are sure easy on the multi-spectral optical sensors. You are beautiful yourself. But I must say, there is a Mrs. House sensation. <laughs> so, what is having Richie Rich bring me here? He was hoping to convince you to move tomorrow's show here. Are you suggesting... Oh, it's, it's so hot in this helmet. You are human? <laughs> I am sorry, but moving my concert here is not possible. Maybe this will change your mind. I will be here at seven. But I cannot stay for after party. If I'm not home in time for family game night, my papa will give me a swift kick in the rumpa. <laughs> I want to say hi before game night. Game night? You mean the concert? Guys! How do I look? <laughs> oh. My. Gods. I ordered a custom couture body cast, so I wouldn't look like an idiot. Hope you kept the receipt. <laughs> Mr. Richie, one minute and 53 seconds until family game night and about five minutes until I put the moose on that amplifier. Gotta get out of here. No, Murray, it occurs to me. This concert's gonna add a lot to my electricity bill. You're right. How did I miss that? Permission to dock my pay? Don't worry about it. I have an idea to recoup some cash. Souvenir sales! <laughs> How about you start all the way across the room, then make your way to the other side of the room, avoiding this general vicinity? <laughs> Souvenirs, get your bobbleheads here! Hello, Richie Rich's bedroom! Thanks again, Richie. Even though I can't see you, because I can't turn my neck, it means a lot having you right by my side. Yep. Right by your side. That's where I'll be all night. Richie, are you still there? Of course. I'm right here, Darcy. Do you think that amplifier likes long walks on the beach? Game night! Time for some family bonding! You're lucky I'm in a rush to get this over with. <laughs> Otherwise, I would take the time to strangle you. Okay, Harper's in the spirit. This is all your fault. I could be out doing something fun with my Friday night. Like studying, if you hadn't become Mr. Rich and Famous. Okay, for the record, I've been Mr. Rich since I was born. Until last week, the name is just tragically ironic. Okay, time to play Duck Duck Hippopotamus. You mean goose? I mean hippopotamus. I couldn't find a goose costume. Costume? I thought the game would be more fun if we all got into parts. Maybe I will take the time to strangle you. What's that booming noise? Sounds like bass from a concert. Concert? Who has a concert in their house? That's construction workers I hired to hammer out the spackle. <laughs> spackle.